saying. Yeah, yeah, a little, a little bit of apprehension. So, um, uh, we both love uh, Marie Sharp sauces. Uh, Nico actually introduced me to it. He gave me a couple bottles as a gift, and we started out with like uh, uh, the ladies and heat. This, I mean, it's hot. It's a hot habanero sauce, but it's not hot for no reason. Like it's got really good flavor. Uh, it, it feels good, and you get accustomed to it, right? And so I started putting it on everything. I think I went through my Belize and heat. I put it on absolutely everything. I'm talking like, you know, uh, pizza, eggs for breakfast, like whatever, anything that you can put hot sauce on. I put hot sauce on it, and I ate that bottle. And it was like this size bottle here in a week. And then this guy's like, well, you want to try the Malaire. And so the Belize heat is four X's. This is five X's. And it's pretty hot, but again, beware. I mean, the name says it. <laughs> yeah. But it, again, it's not it's not that bad. It's not hot for no reason. Like, it's got good flavor. It's not like those extract sauces where they taste like battery acid. Yeah. It's just good, good, clean fun. But after a while, you put that on everything, and you're kind of asking for something hotter. And I think a lot of the Marie Shark fans yeah. were asking for phones. something hotter. And this guy tells me about this limited release sauce, and I'm like, well, we gotta try it, man. Yep, got the email, and we were on it. <laughs> and so, uh, so we got it, and we saw that there weren't a lot of reviews, so we were searching around for a good local restaurant that, that might be able to help us with that. And um, we got in touch with Harvey Singh, uh, he owns Perch, and his guy Moses made us this delicious chicken. So, so we have our, our full wing chicken here, and um, this is the Frank's uh, Red Hot, and then we have a Cajun Ranch as well. And oh my gosh, this man just brought us tacos. Tell me more about this. Oh, uh, look at that. Black beans, uh, cilantro, lime, rice, and we have two carne asada tacos and a shrimp taco. Oh wow, man. On a soft corn tortilla, white onion, cilantro, and lime on top. Awesome, and can you tell me about this drink one more time? What is this spicy beverage there? This is a michelada, which is a spicy beer made with the clamato. Okay. Uh, a Modelo is the beer that we use. Uh, and then my own little mixture. Try it. Tell me what you think. Nice. I, I love the lime floating in there. Oh, yeah. It looks like some mint. Some hot bro. Cilantro? Here. Here, you want to try it? Isn't that good? It's spicy right here. Yeah. Very creative. Yeah, so it's not just uh, not just the food, but the, the drink pairings too. So they're bringing us uh, bring us some drinks as well. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. So this is five times hotter than the beware that Gary was talking about. So what do we got there? Got the red horn and blood orange agave margarita. Oh, oh we're gonna need some of that agave because there's there's yours, man. You tell me how that tastes. Oh, we got a, a straw for you too, man. So the Mary Sharps. I can't wait. Uh, I'm gonna keep this for this is gonna be my sweet. Yeah. We gotta come out and try some of these. Margaritas with tacos and mix. Oh man, just more more food keeps coming. What do we got here? Samosas. Nice man, Moses. Could we uh, could we get a few small yep, plates so we can start uh, we can start digging in on this, putting some hot sauce on stuff. So yeah, Gary, I think we skipped over the the Trinidad like the Trinidad uh, scorpion pepper. What makes the sauce like hotter than this this uh, habanero sauce? So so the red hornet it, looked, it says it's derived from the Trinidad scorpion pepper. So. Um, some sort of uh, hybrid pepper that we're gonna get to try. And I tried doing my research on this, so I agreed to do this before I actually even knew what was in this thing. And I've been getting a little bit nervous trying to figure out how hot this pepper is. Last food is an elote, which is a Mexican corn. Ooh, look at that elote, man. We're gonna put some hot sauce on that. We're gonna put some hot sauce on that, exactly. I brought everything out that I think the hot sauce will complement. Thank you nice. so much. All right, well, that's gonna be awesome. Enjoy, okay. I'll be back. Awesome. Thank you so much, well, Moses. That sweet agave is going to help us out. Yeah. This is like 1.5 million to 2, two, two million scovels for the pepper. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping we're more. I'm good up to a million scovels. I mean, you're, you're, you're better on hot sauce than I am because I used to have the Mary Sharps just like the fiery hot and I was fine with that. 
uh, like having them for breakfast and any other dishes. And then Gary was the one that kept pushing me because we were kind of like pushing each other with the heat. So now we're up to the Trinidad <laughs> Red Hornet Pepper doing this. Hopefully we won't regret it. We got some amazing food in front of us though, I'm excited about. Alright, and it would be at, it would be uh insulting to purchase to try some of this before we put some sauce in it. Yeah. So um, it looks outstanding as it is. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, you wanna take a couple pieces of chicken there? I'm already uh, <laughs> choking from the same. I think we're <laughs> gonna start with the chicken. Alright. Try to give this guy a try. Wow, look at this piece. It's really good. This is the Cajun Ranch. Yeah. Okay. Cajun Ranch. Let's see how this tracks. Thank you. Mm. Wow. That's really good. Yeah, I recommend the Cajun Ranch. It's got some good flavor. Mm -hmm. A little bit of spice. Now, now this here just the kind of standard, standard red hot, I think. Mm -hmm. Like a buffalo liquid? Yeah. yeah. That's good too. A little bit messy. I didn't really think about this. I was gonna be You're gonna get messy. I was gonna be on uh, the camera looking at my fingers. But, yep. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, so um I think I think it's time to to uh start it. Start it out. Now you already kinda took a dab of this to see what we're getting into. What do you think based on what you had? Be careful. Be careful. So what I'm doing right now is not advice. This is <laughs> no, just putting a pile of it on there. I'm gonna put just as much as you do. Yeah, I'm I, I'm starting out with the um, with the ranch one because I'm hoping that that will cool it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very sharp. This is the time. Be sure. Bro. Marie, keep saying Marie. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure very sharp is a nice thing too. <laughs> Shout out to Paul for we kept saying that same thing. He's the one that got me into the sauce. Paul machine. Awesome. One bite, everyone knows the rules. <laughs> All right. Mm. Smoked pepper, for sure. It's like. Mm. I think that pairs really well. Yeah. The heat builds, and this is really, really good. Yeah, if you're gonna be adding your own hot sauce to something, I'm thinking that that, uh, that Cajun Ranch is the one. That is, uh, oh, that's really good. I mean, that is some good stuff, man. So, um, I can feel the heat building a little bit. Um, sometimes with these really hot peppers, you don't really know what you're getting into until you've already done it. I'm gonna toss some on this hot one here. Let's see what we got. Oh my God, I definitely felt it then. Yeah. Ooh. It's all over the map. Mm -hmm. Thank God I got the cigar. Oh yeah, God. that's that's definitely hotter than your regular pretty sharp spready. Like it's gonna be one of those things where I don't know what I've done until it's already happened. I already have the heat building up, so I'm like. <laughs> The chicken's really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's some good chicken, man. Okay, so. Looking at those tacos, though. Right, yeah, yeah. Grab, grab up a taco and douse it, man. Oh, man, I didn't realize what a feast we're going to have. I am going to eat all this. I'm just not going to scarf it all down on camera. We're going to get to try and taste everything. And I promise these plates will be clean. I mean, you look at me right here. That we're not, we're not leaving. We're not leaving anything on the table. I'm gonna put the, I, I drenched a lot of this in this taco. They call it sauce taco. And I just got some of this sauce in my nose. So that's not good. Absolutely good. Yeah. We may have to ask for some water. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna try my. What did he call this beautiful beverage here? Do you remember? Michelada. Michelada. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try my Michelada. A combination of everything. I'm, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're sweating there, buddy. Am I not eating enough of this sauce yet? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get a taco here. All right, with it. I'm sweating. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't let you have that shrimp one. I'm gonna take this carne asada taco. I feel it building. I think I'm in trouble. 
You ever see that uh, that meme uh, from The Simpsons uh, where Ralph Wiggum is like, I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. I think that's what's happening right now. I'm in danger. I don't know what I'm getting into. But. Oh my God. So is this, is what I'm doing not a good idea, Nico? Should you be stopping me? Keep doing more, 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 more. <laughs> but you just, you just want to see me cry, man. Dude. All right, is this is this good or should I stop doing this? Like, okay, that was a lot. That'll this, you'll, you'll feel it then. I'm gonna you'll I'm gonna, feel the heat. So anyway, go. This is this is something you can't experience just putting a little dab on it. You really gotta eat some of this. You really gotta get it in you. Yeah. And let that heat start building. And uh, and yeah, it's it's hot stuff. Oh yeah, man, that trip taco is all yours. Uh, I'm gonna break into break into these here. Uh, he, he told me what this is. Do you remember what this menu item is? The Samoa, she said. The Samoa. I don't know exactly what it says. It is, but I know it's great. They look, they look delicious. I think I might try one without any, any, any uh, coordinate sauce on it. I think they're usually a little bit sweet. Yeah. It could be like a sweet sauce. It, it, it looks like a sweet sauce. I'm, I'm going to try one with the sauce. Oh, man. Tim tacos are really good. Yeah. We can definitely feel a lot more pepper in this sauce. Yeah. Way more pepper. I don't think this one has carrot, but it has a lot of flavor and spice, but... Definitely gotta come to the perch and try this one. Oh wow. This is good. Let's see, let's see what is in this. Hornet pepper, habanero pepper. Natural white vinegar, sea salt, white onion, garlic. So yeah, this is... If it wasn't for this, margarita, I'd be dying. I'm already dying, but... <laughs> Here, man. I brought, uh, brought some water. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so there's no carrot in this. All of this, all of this color in the sauce, this is all natural color. This is just, this is pepper paste. Pepper paste with some vinegar. I'm thankful that it's not all horned pepper. That's the number one ingredient, but it also has some habanero pepper. So I'm feeling that we're probably, like this is still my area. This is feeling like, and sometimes you could be wrong, but this is feeling like it's around a million Scoville. Um, I don't think we're all I'm much higher than that, but a million Scoville is enough to mess you up. It really is. I'm and I'm gonna see how these taste with a little bit of heat on them. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm dying. I think that alone is all you, buddy. That oh, looks really good. And I mean, they didn't skimp on that. Look at how they dressed that up. There's a lot of stuff on that corn. I'm gonna do another margarita after all the sweet. What is insane? Nico's gonna get all drunk. Just be, just be down in the margaritas. To get, to get rid of it by the end of this video, you'll just be all sloshed. Well, Gary can handle more heat than I can, clearly. Because I'm dying. That has some heat on it too. Without me even putting anything on it. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Alrighty. Well, let's see here. Let's get guys. this done. Sweat. Let's get this hot sauce review done. This is a lot this We're gonna mess some chicken up, man. Oh, yeah. But, but you're not regretting it, right? Like, like you've had extract sauce before. And this is not that. This tastes good, man. Yeah. This tastes really good. And they were responsible, too. They could have made it hotter. They could have made it with the habanero peppers. And just, just made it uh, super painful. Yeah. But it's not. It's, it's good stuff, man. Oh, it, is, it is good stuff. So, 
Okay. This, all the color that we get from this, most of their sauces, they're carrot based. It has a little bit of uh, carrot in it to give it that color. This is all just pepper paste. So this is uh, the red hornet pepper and habanero pepper, and then a little bit of uh, spice, a little bit of vinegar. And uh, this one sneaks up on you. At first, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything, but it's, good. it's pairing beautifully with your food here. I'm really liking how it pairs with your um, Cajun ranch. Yeah, it was delicious on those tacos. We smashed those tacos. I'm probably going to dig into some of that beans and rice for next, man. Excellent. It's, it's good stuff. I, I like this drink, too. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're going to have to try some of it. Oh, I will, yes. <laughs> yeah. Good Mary Sharp. It's the hottest sauce that Marie Sharp's has. We've got the Beware just for fun. This is way hotter than Beware. It's five times hotter than Beware, they say. That's a review. I think I have so. Thank you for the first thank you to Harvey and so much for letting us over. Moses for presenting the food. Gary for coming over and pushing us to do this. If you guys want to see more of these tears and more blazing questions, let us know. Leave a comment. That's the review of this. This is a genuine tear happening right now. I think it just happened. Thank you all for watching. I had fun. Thank you so much, Harvey Singh and Moses. Perch is beautiful. The food is on point. And the fact that they let us bring this in and do this just shows that they're super cool people. So do your best to support them. And, uh, and come try some of this delicious food. And if you have to, sneak in a bottle of Marie Sharp's Red Hornet Sauce. Thanks guys. Uh. <laughs> One thing about this is that the heat, uh, the heat stays, it's not going away. So I stopped eating this sauce about five minutes ago and the sweat's still coming down my face.